situation. Hi class, uh, I will be talking about our video prompt about the challenge to change and the questions of what fears do you have to conquer to make wellness and fitness a priority in your life and how does your faith assist you, assist you in managing your fears. Uh, I have to conquer the fears of just not caring what others think about me when at the gym or just working out in general. Uh, too often I worry about using certain machines or not doing enough weight on the strengthening machines. Uh, thinking that maybe I'm being judged, thinking that maybe I'm being judged for the weight or how I'm doing the technique. Uh, I also fear of using certain machines as I do not know exactly how to use some of them. Uh, I need to solve this by working with a friend of mine that is a personal trainer, and have him walk me through and, and talk me through the uh, the machines that I'm not really familiar with because he is a personal trainer and he can guide me through uh, each one of those steps and the, and the machines that I am not familiar with so that way I feel co uh, confident and comfortable doing all of those machines. I also realize that I do a lot better working out when I have my headphones in, therefore I am in my own world and not thinking about those around me. Uh, in terms of faith, faith has always helped assist me in my fears by praying beforehand and asking God to help me through the process. I am a natural uh, anxious person and I need to realize that I, do, that I do not need the acceptance of other people, just need the approval as God as well as trusting him that he is guiding me through the process regardless of how big or small uh, on what the task may be and give thanks to him and all that he does for me on a daily basis. Uh, when reading the book, it seems to talk a lot about obesity. Luckily for me, I have a really good digestive system and I've never really been overweight except for when I was a freshman in high school and was taking cer certain medication that was making me obese. Uh, but then after I was off that medication, I went back to my regular weight uh, at the time. Um, so what, and what I did find is that in chapter five of our book, uh, Lifetime Physical Fitness and Wellness, that on page 180, uh, there was a section that talked about how to monitor your diet with daily food logs. Uh, it kind of talked more about the obesity, but for me, it is more that uh, I don't really eat as much as I should and find anything... Um, if it, and if anything, I'm looked at as more being skinny uh, than than uh, like the average weight or or be or being obese. People look at me and think I am healthy, but I know on the inside that I lack the um, quality of what I'm eating, and I could uh, be eating much healthier uh, foods to have more benefits uh, through the substances that I eat. As of recently, I found I have been getting into making smoothie, smoothies, which combine of a variation of blueberries, strawberries, bananas, spinach, and uh, sometimes throw some pineapple in there. Uh, not really, I'm not really a breakfast person, so I did find this to be an efficient way to start my day. And on the days I do not do this, my energy and mood is not where I would like it to be. Uh, with that said, I do like to cook, but hardly have the time, especially right now. Uh, but I have noticed that these smoothies are quick and easy, and they are easy to clean up. Uh, I do want to start doing a food log, uh, so when I see on paper what it is that I'm putting into my body, uh, I'll really start to get an idea of the, uh, well, let's just say non-quality of food that I'm putting in. And so that way I can uh, really get a clear expectation of how bad I am eating um, or just not eating at all and how that needs to change. So I look forward to starting that process and um, seeing the, the results of the changes. Thanks.